Well, now the best AI image model from Google, which is Nano Banana, is now available in Google Search. And that means you can use this model to create or even editing a picture via Google Lens and AI Studio. So that means uh, this feature is accessible on both the mobile and desktop or web version of Google. So. I'm going to show you how you can utilize this new feature on the Android version and then later on the desktop or web version of Google search. Now I'm going to fire up my Android phone and basically you have to open Google Lens. You can do it via this icon. So if you're using Pixel devices, then there's going to be the Google Lens icon right here. Or you can also open the Google app. This should be available on virtually every Android phone. And after that, you can click this Google Lens icon to start using the feature. So yeah, now it is just still using the regular version of Google Lens. And to utilize Google's Nano Banana, you can click the Create button right here with that banana icon. And yeah, for whatever reason, it is actually opening the front camera by default. I personally don't like it. I'm not using Google Lens to take a selfie. But hey, if you are interested, you can use this feature to take a selfie and then modify the photo to look something very different. Now, in this case, I'll just use the uh, rear camera and I have one item. I have a picture bottle that I want to take using Google Lens. So this is the item. I'm going to take a photo and I'll tell Gemini or oh, sorry, not Gemini, uh, Google's Nano Banana to modify this picture. So let's say I want to change the color to pink and add a cute banana sticker to it and send the message. So it is using the exact same model, the Gemini 2.5 flash image as the one in the Gemini AI app. So you're getting the same quality and the same performance, but now via Google Lens. And there you go. Okay, the image is not opening. That's most likely because uh, my network's kind of slow. Okay, there you go. So yeah, it is now a pink Tumblr. It's kind of muted, but it is still a pink color regardless. So you can share it. You can download this picture to your computer. And maybe one thing I don't like is there's still this watermark. Although there is actually a way to remove it by removing the, sorry, by cropping the picture or perhaps using some sort of eraser tool on other tools to remove that watermark. But regardless, I think it's pretty amazing that we can utilize Google Lens uh, and using Google Gemini Nano Banana. Now here, I think one area or one skill Scenario where it makes a lot of sense to have not a banana on Google Lens is when you're taking a picture of something or a product and then let the uh, AI model to modify it or visualize your uh, description or imagination. So let's say I have a picture of a room and in this case, I'll just uh, select the picture from my gallery. And it is just a broken room. It is empty. There's nothing there. And I want Gemini to, uh, you know, clean up the room and also decorate it sorry and decorate it with let's say modern minimalist style there you go send the message and just wait so it is using a mode and that means you can still use it uh, in the, independently via AI mode, you don't have to always open Google Lens to be able to enjoy the uh, Nano Banana model from Google. And there you go. So this is the same room, but now it looks prettier. And I think it's almost like a real uh, photo because the quality of the model. Now, uh, if you want to use this feature on the desktop version, then you can just navigate to google.com slash AI. Or you can also just navigate to the regular the regular version of Google, google.com, and then click a button that says AI mode. So it will lead you to the AI version of Google, which is Google AI mode. So this is AI mode. And uh, again, you can also just click this button on the official page of Google to access uh, this page. Now to use Gemini's Nana Banana, just click this button. And then you can upload file if you want to model a picture or you can just click create images. Now, in this case, I want to create a picture 
of a cat and dog plays football. Uh, sorry about that. My keyboard is kind of behaving. There we go. Let's send a message. And yeah, it is essentially the same experience as the one that I just shown you via Google Lens. It is exactly the same tool. It is working via Google AI mode. And this AI mode is going to get stronger and stronger over uh, the next years. I think it's going to be I would say the new version of Google search, maybe I'm not sure about that, but it could be given the amount of features that they kept adding into the tool. Now I cannot see the picture, but that's most likely because my network is really behaving lately because of the bad weather, most likely, but just trust me that it worked. It is uh, showing a picture that uh, can be downloaded as, as long as your internet uh, connection is fine. So yeah, that's basically how you can use the new Google Lens with Gemini's Nano Banana to modify or create a new picture. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.